NoFap for the past 90 days. This is gonna be today's video topic. I am right now here in Düsseldorf, Germany, and I already filmed one or two videos on that topic. And um, yeah, I've been really practicing it. And today I wanna to share with you my experiences, but also just like my perspective on it. And in the past few videos, I mean, especially the regulars on my channel, maybe people that know me from my main channel, Danny Got a World to see, where I just like document my life. A little bit surprised, a little bit like, whoa, whoa, are you really talking about right now about? masturbation about not jacking off and like some people have been even like a little bit like yo have you like joined like a cult now and you're like shaming people like, don't do that guys it's gonna be like on this channel I want to be super open super real don't hold anything back don't be like ah, I cannot say that and talk about things and topics that I feel like are very important and impactful when it comes to your personal development and this is like a taboo that nobody talks about money and sex and um, that's what we're gonna do today so if you if you don't feel comfortable with it I'm absolutely cool with that just checking into the next video but um, yeah 90 days obviously uh, not obviously but to share with you like super openly I've been not like uh, super dead on like or it even has been like a little bit more than 90 days. I've been not just like pulling through all the way, not doing it a single time. I had a few layoffs and obviously, you know, just like jumping in into the situation with a potential, let's say, acquaintance or girl um, was not uh, counting. So obviously, you know, like doing it yourself is the one thing. I'm outside here, you know, so I'm just like, you know, let's say coding it. We're doing right now our own language over here. Um, and thing that you really experience is after a week you just get a lot more energy and what I mean by that is I mean we don't have to like beat around the bush you're more horny <laughs> like people are gonna cut that out and like put it somewhere oh, come on maybe I'm gonna cut it out um, and with that when it comes to for example social interactions me being single for the past few months like that definitely led me to just go out a little more put out myself a little more and be overall a little bit more energetic definitely no doubt about it like uh, there's this guy in biohacking a very big name um, the owner of the bulletproof coffee um, what's his name da -da -da. Dave Asprey and he's talking about this topic on the one side the hormonal differences for example also like between like a climax of a man and a climax of a woman and as a man I'm sure you know this um, during during the time and before obviously the whole process amazing best time ever but afterwards is like a, a feeling an emotion sensation of a certain dizziness a certain let's say uh, tiredness and sometimes even like a little bit of a depressed feeling um, especially if you're like let's say going into situations that you're not super proud of like a lot of men know that you know you you do your thing and then afterwards you're like ah, maybe I should have just stayed home or something like that and um, with that there comes in this whole idea or even you could say study of uh, holding it back even if you are um, in the situation with your partner even then maybe not pushing it up until the climax just to actually see uh, and to not experience these sensations this hormonal response that you get if you actually pull it all the way through to push it you could say and it's very interesting uh, so I've been practicing that also maybe a little bit here and there and overall I just can say that if you have issues with just not working on your life with not being able to do, let's say, go out there, take action, and you just find yourself in cycles and cycles and cycles of uh, just being a couch potato, basically. This is what, what, where I see often finding myself. If I have a little bit like slower days, maybe a slower week, and then you tend to also jump in, and fab around, uh, it's adding a lot, also emotionally and hormonally, to um, this overall like slaggy, state and it's absolutely fine to be that sometimes like I don't know I don't want to like shame anyone be like ah you know lazy ass but me actually cutting it out I feel like made a huge huge deal to really minimize that to to a very large extent uh, next to it is obviously just the fact that what you're watching during the whole process I'm like during the whole process what you're watching like people are passing by like oh yeah no fab yeah yeah I heard of that <laughs> um, 
watching all the time pornography. What is that doing to your mind? I think that's actually food for a separate, quite long video. But overall, it's extremely stimulating content. I mean, you know, like if you watch sometimes a movie and it's like a little bit like horror, a little bit tense. I watched The Joker a few days ago. You experience emotions. And even though you might be like busy and doing your thing and doing your business while you watch the interesting movies on the hub, on the P-hub, your body is experiencing a lot of emotions. There's a dopamine release, there's a release of happy hormones, and also there are certain synaptic connections that are created in your brain to make things a habit. This is why everything you do on autopilot, why do you think you like check the Instagram all the time? It becomes like a very ingrained habit in your brain, and whenever you're like on autopilot, doo -doo -doo, you check it out, and the same things happens with you being on the hub all the time. And for me, there, there are a lot of factors. There's just the factors of a certain subconscious element of you like watching people like going crazy sometimes and like a lot of guys experience that mean actually not that much but like at some point like you get super excited about seeing something in like an, an H&M magazine like a girl like oh my god you know like if you're like 12 and then you like jump onto the hub you watch like you know the actual real deal and you're like crazy what's going on there and then you have to go higher and higher and then you watch like you know they're like the group going crazy and like you know the mom is walking in and catching them and like a horse is there as well <laughs> the crazy stuff you know uh, I heard that from some friends and obviously you know just like reading up on it on the internet and in the comments it is a problem and to me personally I gotta say I completely quit like I, I don't want to like put on like an like I'm cool I'm ideal here on the YouTube but for me really I just realized that it's not serving me I even like almost felt a little bit of really an inner resistance maybe even a little bit of a disgust of like watching that and I cut it out I really did and since like three months like that happened a few moments like of me being a little bit in my lower self being a little bit like uh, I'm not feeling really good uh, or maybe you like I feel good right now why shouldn't I like maybe like pop in a little nice nice movie but I said no and since then I haven't like watched it again I maybe will like my opinion might change on that a little bit and whenever like whenever something triggers in you a lot it means that there's a lot of like insight to work on and like right now my state towards it is very neutral I'm like I don't really care about it and like my life right now is quite exciting that I get a lot of these I would say emotions and sensations from real life and that's where I would say that the whole NoFap movement really, really comes in, is that it holds you back from building the thing that you want to build, a certain circle, a certain life situation, maybe a girlfriend, maybe, um, yeah, just because you're busy all the time doing your thing and watching your movies. And you're numbing yourself from your reality that you tried to run away from, and it's, and it's a very potent drug in that way and there's actually a lot of addic uh, addictive factors and with that obviously everything is like you know also on the smaller scale just like jumping on a Netflix all the time being on your phone all the time all of that stuff plays into that so that's obviously also stuff that we can talk about and I'm not saying like cut everything out completely like it might be an actually interesting experiment and to me it has been like minimized it towards like 80% and I did completely cut out pornography completely um, and I've definitely experienced a lot of benefits and I think the main reason why I was able to do it so so much is again like I, I formed this decision I have this new like personal identity for myself like I don't walk around like talking a lot about it like to people not at all <laughs> um, but and also getting these sensations from a different source just like in real life not like doing the stuff that you can watch no, maybe a little bit <laughs> um, and huge benefits without a doubt so every young man and uh, there's even like as I said some girls online um, cannot speak from experience in that case and um, yeah definitely try it out no shame um, at all like if if you then fall back it's about optimizing yourself it's about accepting yourself it's about understanding what is what is ruling you how are things affecting you and then making conscious decisions and conscious movements into the direction that you want to go and uh, yeah also don't be harsh on yourself like for me like I uh, like after like two weeks or something um, I broke the streak as you say 
And I was like, whatever, just gonna keep going. Did the other two weeks and uh, definitely seen also a difference. Also like in the past three, four months, I had like one or two weeks where I was like, you know what? Let's just completely forget about that and let's just live a normal, let's say, a routine in uh, that scenario as a guy my age would do. Basically just, you know, doing your thing a little bit more often. And uh, I've seen a huge, huge difference. Obviously with that, there has been also a little bit of a different lifestyle. I've been like editing a little bit more, staying at home a little more, but doing it or not doing it is a significant difference in energy levels and just overall perspective. And I gotta say, sometimes when I'm like just a little bit too excited and a little bit like, yo, let's go out, let's meet everyone, let's meet these girls, you know? Uh, I'm like, dude, you gotta get busy, you gotta do some editing, you gotta like focus on you a little bit. Uh, and then I'm like, yeah, yeah, it could be actually a good idea to like take the steam off, you could say. And um, that's pretty much it. That's all I can say after like having a, having a focus on it, have, keeping it in mind and my conscious mind a little bit, this idea of it. And I can see for a lot of uh, guys, especially young guys, but I would say even at any age, uh, there is a lot of merit in, uh, I would say, controlling yourself. And sometimes you feel like, you know, you feel like, like very often, our emotional state wants us to do things that are long-term not beneficial for us and this is where our like higher self you could say somewhat of discipline maybe 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 willpower but also keeping in mind why you want to do it and just trying out stuff with that also and um it's like with a lot of stuff it's like not eating the shitty food holding yourself accountable to a higher standard actually exposing yourself to stuff that is programming you in the right way like this as I said like you know hanging all the time in your phone on the Netflix on the hub it's not gonna be who, who says what is good or not good but if you want to live an exciting life with a lot of opportunities and options this is what I am in the process of building off and it really really helps me to have a lot more focus on what I want to do and to feel more energy and be overall happier so with that thank you very much for watching today's video as of right now I'm in such a flow of creating and bringing you these videos so if you enjoyed them and want to support what I do check out the description next to that as of right now I am offering to work with me one-on-one -on -one. I still have a few slots left so if you want to build an online audience travel or let's say get and stay in shape all the different things that I do just shoot me an email tell me about yourself who you are what you do and if we are a good match we can kick it off and make it happen so with that thank you very much for watching and until next time